for. Yeah, let's start on the North Shore. Um, and the North Shore will be the last people to really get on on the most intense part, Eric. So by this afternoon and this evening, it'll start to go downhill out here. And the further west you go, the closer you get to the eye, the worse it's going to get. So right now, here's what we're thinking. On average, 70 to 80 mile per hour sustained winds, but you'll have gusts perhaps up to 90 to 110. And that 110 would be more likely in Tangipahoa Parish, into Livingston Parish, and close to the lake. Now, as you get into St. Tammany, as you go to Madisonville, Covington, Slide L, all the way up through Folsom, them, you name it anywhere in St. Tammany, you could certainly see wind gusts 90 approaching 100 miles per hour. That will be later this evening into parts of tonight. So most of this is going to happen after dark on the North Shore. It'll start this afternoon, but the worst of it will continue until after dark and towards midnight for Washington Parish. Your winds could definitely still gust 70 80 miles an hour. I think there will be a little bit less up here, but certainly we got a lot of tall trees up here. If you live in a house that's next to a tall tree, Think about where you would go just in case if a tree were to fall, where would it fall or where would it if it fell? Where could you be safe in your home if it did fall on your home? So you got to keep that in mind. Other big problem on the North Shore is going to be for flooding from rain. We're going to see on average 10 inches. A few places could see more. Our rivers are going to have to be watched very closely. So if you live next to a river in a flood prone area, you need to be planning for flooding there. And of course, on the lakefront, five to eight feet or yeah, five to eight feet is what we're going with now for Lake Pontchartrain. And the surge will be worse down here later tonight going into tomorrow as we have that strong southerly wind still pulling up into the center of that storm. So the winds this afternoon are going to be more out of the west here or to the west here out of the east. But as we go into tonight, there'll be more out of the south there. That's for the North Shore. And, and if we and before we leave the North Shore, the, the reason they'll be seeing that storm surge, that water and we won't so much on the South Shore is that water will be pounding in from uh, from the Wrigley's yeah. into the lake and putting it up toward the, the North Shore. Right, like the let me move this a little bit. The water's coming in um, in the Wrigley's and into the lake today. By tonight, though, this storm, the, as the wind, as the storm travels to the north, the winds will start to transition out of the south later today as they wrap up into it. So it'll be more of a westerly wind and then an easterly or a southerly wind by tonight. Okay. All right, let's hit the south shore now. Let's hit the uh, in the New Orleans metro here. So whenever we say the New Orleans metro, think of everywhere in the metro. Kenner, Metairie, all the West Bank inside the levees, New Orleans East, you name it, Chalmette. This is the New Orleans metro. We have the potential to see some really strong winds here uh, across the area. Could see some winds, and let me break this down because this is going to get tricky here in the metro. The west side of the metro, Kenner going into St. Charles Parish. You could definitely see winds approaching 100 miles per hour with gusts over 120. That is a definite possibility, and that would happen. The winds are going to start to pick up in the next couple of hours and will be to hurricane force probably by lunchtime, and then they'll get really bad throughout the rest of the afternoon. That's the timeline at least. Now, as you're in the east, you're going to be further away from the eye. You're probably going to miss out on the worst winds out here, but it's still possible that you see winds 80, 90 miles per hour out in the east. Down on the West Bank, same story. The further west you go, west we go, Wagaman, more intense winds, the closer you are to Araby uh, and going into um, Algiers, you're probably not going to see as, as the intensive winds as what they see out here, but still you could approach 100 miles per hour. The storm surge, of course, outside the levees uh, on the lakefront, we'll see flooding there on Lake Shore, five to eight feet, seven to 11 feet for those that live outside the levee out towards um, the Venetian Isles. And once you get on 90 out there, Eric, so that area is already likely seeing water rise and it could get up uh, to that should actually say eight to 12 feet. We've updated that uh, at this point. Yeah, whenever there's a southeast wind coming into uh, the Wrigley's, Venetian Isles, all those camps out there, Lake uh, Catherine, they all they all flood. Yeah, they do, and so this will be significant was a, a rise of water, so that should be eight to uh, twelve feet on the west or on the lower Jefferson here. So once you get outside the levees, Jean Lafitte, uh, Lafitte, Crown Point, they're going to see the more significant storm surge, perhaps of uh, twelve to sixteen feet, Eric. And, and rain is going to be a big problem for all of us. You're yeah. saying the entire metro area is going to be a problem. So the places that, that flood, uh, I mean, they're going to flood. They are. And, you know, here in the metro, on average, we're still going 7 to 10, but there's been some indications that it could be closer to 15 inches, and that's going to cause big problems. And you just hope that isn't the entire metro because, uh, you know, the pumps are having to all pump out everything. Yeah. So any flooding we see in the city, and I think this is going to scare people because, you're going to see a lot of rainfall come down later this afternoon into tonight, and it's going to look like water is rising in the streets. It's not from the levees. It's not storm surge coming in. No. We're not expecting that. We've talked about that all morning because a lot of people are concerned about that, rightfully so. 
but it will be water from the rainfall and the pumps trying to keep yeah. up with it. And, and this time we do not have uh, the, that, that north wind pounding it toward the south shore. Yep. And then we, and even if it were, we still have those three outfall canals with those massive floodgates, so that's gonna protect. The problem with getting that much rain in this amount of time, there's no way we can pump that, that kind of water out. You're exactly right. And uh, so that's our big concern. The, the reason the surge doesn't look like a big deal for New Orleans, it's this. So in, a lot of people are wondering about Katrina. Obviously, it's the anniversary today. The reason that was such a problem, Katrina went to our west. It made landfall in Hancock County near the Pearl River. And the, uh, the winds on the west side of that storm would have been coming down. It's not going to let me draw on it, but it would have been coming down like this. So they were pounding into the city. Yeah. Now, what's going to happen today, it's on this side of us. So the winds are going to be the complete opposite. They'll be out of the south for the most part today. So our winds will be rushing out to the lake and pushing it up to the north the shore. North shore. So, so the they're going to get it. Yeah. yeah, the north shore is more concerned about that push. And then, and then uh, let's get, yeah, we're going to the river parishes now? But, yeah, I've gotten some messages about the river parishes. The river parishes could see some significant effects as well as that eye travels somewhere in the vicinity of here. So winds out in this area will start uh, increasing later this morning. The worst will be this afternoon into this evening and even going into tonight. This is not going to be a quick event for anyone. It's going to last over 12 hours for some people. So 5 to 10 inches of rain, but look at this. Winds 110 to 130 with some gust over 120 to 130 as well. So you're looking at some significant wind gusts possible through the river parishes and especially as you travel closer and closer to that eye. So in St. Charles, St. John, Laplace, Reserve, Lutcher, Vachery, uh, heading up towards Assumption and Ascension Parish, you could see wind gusts of 120 plus miles per hour and that's a big concern. The storm surge will have to be watched. Right now we're thinking Lake uh, Maurepaw is about four to six feet, Lake Pontchartrain five to eight feet, but as I mentioned through today it's going to be more of a southeasterly kind of pushing into St. John there. So that's why we could see a lot of that flooding uh, near I-10 that we normally see when we have a strong wind pushing water into St. John Parish, Eric. So that's yeah, and why St. John, they, they, they've got some levee projects yeah. on the on the board. They're just not there yet. Yeah, they need to be there. But that will be good, but uh, that's what we're watching with the storm surge potential into the river parish. And if I can ask you, since we're talking about uh, all these parishes by parishes in the, the viewing area, uh, when when if we keep on this track, is there any way to put like a wind gauge out to where, or, or, or a wind scenario out to where the most intense, how intense, and then as it goes out, what it'll be like. Um, you're going to have to rephrase it. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to understand and read a and National I know, Hurricane no, Center sorry. at the same time. And sometimes, sometimes I explain things really weird. Yeah. Uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the center of the storm, we know that wind is going to be sustained at, at 150 miles an hour. At the, on the eye wall. On right? the eye wall. Yeah, the as, center as will, it drops down. Yeah. And then as we get, uh, you know, because any place west, like, you know, Lutcher, Reserve, Booty, yeah. uh, Destrehan, even Jefferson Parish, they're closer to that eye than here in the city. They are. Um, I wish I had one more detail on this graphic to help show it and divide it a little bit better, but uh, all the areas in white could see 100 plus mile per hour wind gusts. That kind of thing that breaks it down and helps you understand that if you were in the white here, it is reasonable that you see over 100 miles per hour. Now, there are going to be some down towards Thibodeau and Homa, especially that I think you'll be closer to 120 and 130, maybe a little higher to 140 as you get closer, and then 160 to 180 to even up towards 200 miles per hour near that eye and landfall. So that's where the worst will be. And you're saying even as far as Slidell, that wind could be that strong? A gust, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, a gust. Now, what about sustained winds? Sustained will be closer to um, the 80 mile per 80 to maybe 90 mile per hour as you get closer to the metro, we think. So the um, the western side of the metro has a greater chance of seeing the 90 to 80 to 90, and then I think it'll start to decrease to maybe 60 or 70 to 60 as you get into the east. Here. Well, that's still got the potential yeah. of uh, downing trees, things like that. Yeah, it's such a fine. That's such a fine detail too, by the way, trying to because of the the no, track, and you hope it if it you don't hope it takes this track, but this is currently based on that track. And what, what's the next big update we're waiting for, the one that will be more definitive or the most definitive for you? Do we have to wait till 10 or will it be earlier? No, we're just getting them every hour now, yeah. Eric. So we are fortunately getting that. And then once it makes landfall, we will stop getting the um, yeah, so we're about seven minutes away from the next update, unless yeah. it comes in a little early. And I do want to mention, they did issue that extreme wind warning just now. Uh, and let me get into this, because a lot of people, if for anyone who did end up staying down there in Lafouche and Terrebonne Parishes, your phones are going to go off. And the reason they issued this is because they want you to take shelter from this 
hurricane moving on in. You need to treat this as a tornado warning. So it does include right on the outskirts of the New Orleans Metro here for that extreme wind warning. Winds over 115 miles per hour are expected soon. That will happen more so as we go into the next couple of hours down along the coast and then it will spread up over the area. So you see this purple box here, Eric? Yeah, that's where we're most likely to see the worst winds as we go into well at, at 735 my friend and home texted me right now the wind was about 15 miles an hour about that's going to change you said 15 that, 15 miles an oh, hour yeah. that was at 730 726 yeah i mean just off the mouth of the river i was talking about this earlier we're gusting to uh <clears throat> we were gusting over 120 when the last time i checked and uh, i can imagine it's getting worse